humankind, mere whispers in the vast expanse of time, brief candles flickering in the cosmic night, yet our insatiable curiosity and thirst for exploration drive us to redefine the boundaries of possibility. How far can we extend our reach into the universe until we become powerless in the face of its immensity? How long can we persist until we succumb to the relentless march of time? This is the story of our continuing pursuit of reaching for the unreachable, the unseen, and the unknown. This is the tale of New Horizons. Pluto, a celestial enigma barely within our grasp. A shy elusive world until Clyde Tombeau discovers a tiny glimmer of light traversing the Gemini constellation in 1930. Yet, after over seven decades, Pluto still remains an enigma. What does it look like? What's on the surface? What secrets lie in its core? What is its atmosphere made of? What does its moon Charon look like? Over the years, we've strained to capture this distant object. Even Hubble's most detailed images raise more questions than they answer. Polar caps, an equatorial band, and an astonishingly intricate surface. The most remarkable contrast to any entity within our solar system second only to our terrestrial home planet. The clock is ticking, and the task is mighty. Pluto is so far away, light from the sun takes around five hours and 28 minutes to reach it, compared to the nine minutes it takes to reach Earth. One of its years is 248 Earth years long, in fact, since its discovery, less than half a Pluto year has passed. Since 1989, Pluto's orbit has been steadily pushing it farther from the Sun, raising concerns among scientists that its atmosphere may freeze out, thereby hiding many secrets underneath its icy mantle. To add to the list of challenges, because of the incredible distances and scale involved, going into orbit around Pluto is almost completely infeasible. The technology and time needed for such a feat still lie outside of humanity's grasp. Therefore, the only realistic option was a flyby, a short, momentary glimpse. To truly witness and understand a dwarf planet in all its glory, humanity must act with urgency. First of NASA's New Frontiers program to explore and understand our solar system, New Horizons was born. Built at John Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab, this spacecraft, no larger than a grand piano, will take on this fearsome challenge. Aboard an array of unique instruments that will allow it to fulfill its task, a range of different spectrometers to measure ultraviolet, visible, infrared light and plasma, complemented by imagers and cameras. A radioisotope thermoelectric generator serves as its power source, and a 2.1 meter wide high gain antenna will be its link to Earth. Built to retain heat like a thermos bottle, it will be warm enough even on the outer edges of our solar system. On the afternoon of the 19th of February, 2006, from Launch Complex 41 in Cape Canaveral, weighing a mere 478 kilograms, it soared into the sky aboard the mighty Atlas V. Thus began its remarkable decade-long journey. Embarking on the 
exploration.